we're going to look at some things and what, where we might be moving. And this is a little bit like predicting the weather, right? So when I was doing my bike ride, it's like I'd look at the weather the night before and he'd say wind out of the south at 15 and I'd go out there and it'd be out of the north at 30 or something. You know, now usually one or two days they were pretty close, but if you got out a week, you could just say it doesn't, they can't tell. Or the snowstorm, they told New York to watch out, they're gonna, they, they didn't get hardly anything or a few inches. Now Boston's getting two feet, I think, but they, they were over worried about things. And so they put some protection measures in and, and brought extra people on and it didn't happen. And I guess, so it's a little bit like pay, playing a 3D chess and checkers sometimes. Uh, so here's what the growth rates have been, and the United States and UK at the top and a little bit slower, and China at six and a half is a little bit slower for them. Um, but so we're starting to gain traction. If we can get that 3%, five would be just, it doesn't sound like a big number, but it'd be like flame on a fire, so we don't really need that fast. If we can get up over three, uh, we're, we're chugging along at a decent pace with it. Um, and it, what the broad projections are, things are okay unless we have a big disrupting event. So it's like the weatherman says, you got a 50% chance of rain unless this happens. That's what we're going to look at here. So if, we, if one large thing happens internationally, that could be a disruptor. That could up, up, uh, upset the apple cart a little bit over here. So deflation, you know, we have a chance of growth unless deflation kicks in. I'd say in the United States, except for oil and gas prices, we don't have deflation kicking in here. And um, the only way we would is the middle class couldn't afford to buy things anymore. But they're, they're going to get this gas um, tax savings from paying less of the gas. But, you know, food at the grocery store has been tremendously more expensive.